there this is the second video on conservation of momentum and in this video I'm going to be discussing something a little bit more practical I'm going to be discussing car accidents and uh, how conservation of momentum takes place there and I'm going to give us a hypothetical situation uh, a physicist is hired uh, by the government to figure out what speeds each individual car was going in this particular situation. Uh, first of all you have one car right here that is traveling Here's your windshield back window. Okay so it's traveling at mm, an angle of let's say 60 degrees just from some arbitrary point 60 degrees or the point of contact we could say and the other car is traveling at a 45 degrees it was also coming towards the same exact spot Okay. The resulting direction of all of this is going to be a straight down direction. It's going to result in a direction of, and I'm going to put it in light green, straight down. So just to put a picture off to the side, it's going to look something along the lines of this. Uh, just to put it off to the side. I don't know, something like this maybe? Uh, two cars, one of them's cr smushed up against the other car which is also smushed up. You got some like jagged line here and jagged lines here. Messed up tires. But anyway, the idea being that this whole thing and I just want you to look at this whole thing here as one single body of mass. Now, for us, for this to make sense to us, we need to know how much each of these cars weighed. Well, the physicist goes out and he determines this, that this car over here weighs 2,000 pounds. And this car over here is 5,000 pounds. So now we need to know what speeds do each of these cars need to be going to result in a vertical direct uh, uh, vector going straight down. So we have to kind of uh, we can just take a step back and really calculate this and I'll do this in orange, we'll do the X component in orange and you'll see what I mean. Um, if I were to give these names real quick, let me just do that. Um, this one on the left is going to be A and this one on the right is going to be B. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this up in orange I'm going to say Let's work on the X component first. One thing that we know is that there's no movement in the X direction. There's no movement in the X direction because it goes, the resulting direction is straight down. So that means that the moments must actually cancel each other out. So we can actually determine that MVX of A must equal m v x of b. They cancel each other out. So working that out, you can get 2,000 and then what v a sine 60 is going to equal 5,000 
VB sine 45. And working all this out, just to kind of simplify that function, you get something along the lines of, if I were to really simplify that out, it's going to turn out to be 1.25 radical 6 times VA is going to equal VB. Now really make sure that you do that correctly because you can that can be the end of you if you mess up on that function. So this is going to be our relationship that we use to determine uh, what speed. But we need we have two unknowns so we need two equations. So let's look into the uh, the y direction. Okay so if we look in the y direction, and I'm going to do this in uh, ah, green. If I do this y direction stuff, we should know that m v y of a plus m v y of b is going to equal and I'm going to say mass of A plus mass of B times our times 10 because I don't have really a uh, there's no way for us to figure this out so I'm going to say give us kind of an excel uh, a speed down here I'm going to say 10 mm, miles per hour So what we're saying is that these cars are going to collide together, stick together, then move downwards, straight downwards, at 10 miles per hour. Since we know everything, we can actually come up with another uh, VY, uh, VA and VB relationship. Let's put some numbers in so you can see it. 2,000 times 1 half. VA, and that comes from the sine function, plus 5,000 rad 2 over 2, also from the sine function, VB equals, and then 7,000 pounds, that's the combined mass of both of them, times 10. Great. And if I simplify this out, you get something along the lines of 1,000 VA plus 2,500 red 2 VB equals 70,000. Okay. Still somewhat complicated. But now we have two relationships that we can use. And when you plug them in, I'm just going to plug them in real quick for us. 1000 VA plus 2500 rad 2. Then that's where this is where VB is. I'm actually going to come up here and pull this whole function VB equals 1.25 rad 6 VA. I'm going to pull that whole function in here. So just substituting it in, just like you did in algebra. 1.25 rad 6 VA. And that equals 70,000. Now you have one unknown and you have a solution. And I can just calculate that uh, uh, for us. VA, VA is going to equal 5.9195 uh, miles per hour, which, if you plug it right back into one, any of these other functions, you'll find that VB will equal 18. 
point one two four miles per hour. Now this is friction neglected, not realistic situation, but just to kind of give you a basis and an understanding of how things work in the world. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave any comments if you'd like.